Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Jen Clayton Beauty. We do everything beauty and makeup and that includes testing new palettes, new makeup, new releases. And today we are do we are going to be using the brand new collection from Unearthly Cosmetics. Now, if you know, you know. Unearthly is my very favorite indie brand. I pretty much I pretty much own everything that the brand has released and when they release their summer collection, I knew I had to have it. So first up is the High Temp Palette. This is absolutely beautiful. I already feel a sunset look coming on for today's video. I just love everything about this palette. The color story, the layout of it, that there's four shimmers and the rest are beautiful mattes. I'm so excited for that. And then we, I also decided to pick up one of their bronzers. So they released three bronzers, just depending on your skin tone. I picked mine up in the shade medium. In the pan, it looks like a pinky glowy bronzer, but when I swatched it, it wasn't pink at all. It's the perfect bronzer for my skin tone, so I'm so excited for that. So we're going to test out the entire new High Temp collection from Unearthly Cosmetics. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link the High Temp collection as well as the discount code that I use. It actually saves you 10% as well as my favorite beauty subscription boxes, all of the other makeup that I'm gonna, that I'll be wearing in today's video if you would like to shop this look, discounts to my favorite indie brands, and come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So let's test out and create an eye look and test the bronzer of the Unearthly High Temp Collection. Before I zoom you in and we get started, let me tell you a little bit more about the palette and the bronzer. So let's first start with the bronzer. Like I said, they released three different shades. I picked mine up in the shade medium. Now these are supposed to be a kind of glowy bronzer. And like I said, when I first opened it, I was like, ooh, there's a lot of pink mixed in there, but it doesn't translate as pink. It actually swatched really, really beautifully. And I cannot wait to put this on my face. I can't wait to test this out. And then of course the palette, the palette is what absolutely steals the show. I love how well laid out this is. We have a gold, a pink, a more purple leaning, and a red shimmer, which pairs beautifully with the palette. It's really all the shimmer shades that you need. And I love that we have this fiery orange and red and yellow for those quintessential high temp fire summer collection. And then I love the inclusion of the bottom row, which is pinks and then that deep, dark kind of purpley brown called Scold. Scald. That is such a nice addition to the palette. There's multi-chromes, duochromes, beautiful shifty shimmer shades. Like I said, I cannot wait to test this out. So without further ado, let me zoom you in and let's get started. So I've already done my base makeup. I haven't done any powder bronzer or powder blush yet because we're gonna test out the new bronzer from Unearthly Cosmetics. So I'm going to pick that up on a fluffy brush and I'm going to place that where the sun naturally would hit my face. So on my forehead, down and around here, my nose, and then I do like to pop a little bit under my chin. This is really, really pretty. I was even afraid that it would be too deep when I first opened it up. It's definitely not. It is the perfect color for my skin tone. Ooh, that is so pretty. It is just melting and blending right into my skin how pretty that is. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, it just melted right into my skin. It's not super glowy, which I appreciate. I feel like there's a, maybe a tiny bit of glow to it, but definitely not glittery or shiny. It's really, really beautiful. Whew, I'm so happy that I picked this up. Let me go ahead and add a little bit of a powder blush, do my brows, set my face with setting spray, and I'll be back and we'll create an eye look with the high temp palette. All right, my eyes are primed with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and I am ready to jump into this palette. Like I said, I feel a sunset vibe look going on. The next look I create, I'm definitely using the pinks and purples in the palette, but I really wanna focus on the summery kind of high temp fiery shadows. So the first shade I'm going to pick up is Summery, which is the really, really bright yellow in the palette. I know these are going to be extremely pigmented. Unearthly mattes are absolutely incredible. And I'm going to focus that in my crease. Look at that. That is so pretty. 
and I'm going to bring that above my crease just a little bit so that when my eyes are open, you'll still be able to see this beautiful yellow shade. I do have very slightly hooded eye, so we wanna see that popping up. Wow, this is so pretty. It is just blending out beautifully. It's super pigmented, super, super opaque. I am not at all surprised, to be honest, but I'm really happy that it's performing as beautiful as it is. And then I'm going to pick up this shade Fiery, which is this fiery orange, and I'm going to bring that, I'm going to put that right in my crease, staying away from bringing that above my crease again so that we can see that shade Summery, that yellow shade, pop out above it. That was one tap in to Fiery. One tap in, wow. Look at how beautiful that is. It's insanely pigmented. I am going to go back into Summery one more time. I did wipe my brush off and I'm just going to buff that right above the orange shade Fiery, just adding a little bit more yellow. And that also kind of helps diffuse out the edges of the orange. And then on a flat kind of angled brush, I'm picking up this ready pink shade. It's so pretty called Heated. And I'm going to put that right on the outer corner. Ooh, that is so pretty. That is insane. And I'm going to pull that up just a little bit into my crease. We definitely have some high temp, fiery sunset vibes. And then one more time into the shade Summery and just blending out those edges of, what was that shade, heated, blending those out. And then as always, I'm going to use my NYX glitter glue, put a little bit of that on my lids, and then we're gonna test out these shimmers, which is always one of my favorite things from Unearthly. I mean, I love their mattes, I love their shimmers. I just love everything about their eyeshadow formula. And then, as always, we're gonna do one shimmer with my finger, one shimmer with the matte, at least on the lids here. I definitely wanna use the red shimmer blazing. It is so blazingly beautiful. It's so pretty and just shifty and chrome looking. And I'm going to focus that on the outer about a quarter of my lid, just staying really, really close to that red matte heated in the outer corner. Oh, that's so pretty. It just added this little bit of foiledness and depth, this little bit of foil and depth to my lid. And it looks really nice next to heated. And then with a pencil brush, so we can test out brush application, finger, amazing. I'm going to pick up that shade Toasty, which is the gold leaning matte. And I'm going to pop that on the inner portion of my lid. And I'm going to meet that up with blazing the red shimmer. This is really beautiful. It is applying nicely with the brush. I do think though that finger application is a little bit easier just because these are those really wet foiled shimmers. But like I said, you can definitely use a brush if that's what you prefer. And then I'm going to pick up the shimmer Glowing, which is this kind of duochrome goldy, pinky, salmon-y color. And I'm going to pop that right in the middle of those other two shimmers. That's really pretty. It's kind of an orangey, peachy, leaning shimmer shade. So the shimmer is applied nicely with a finger and a brush. I, like I said, think finger application is a lot better. I feel like you get more of that foiled sparkle to the shimmer. And then on my lower lash line, I wanna replicate my matte. So I'm gonna do a red, an orange, and a yellow. So into heated, and I'm going to focus that on the outer one third of my lower lash line. Then back into fiery, the orange, and put that right in the middle. And then into summary, the yellow, and put that closest to the inner portion. How fun is that? This sunset vibe lower lash line. I don't think I'm going to use any shimmer. I'm going to leave it matte because I like how it replicates the sunset vibe we have on the eyes. Now there isn't really a light shimmer shade for an inner corner highlight, so I think I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of Toasty, the gold, and just kind of pop that on the inner corner. And that pairs really nicely with where we've placed it on our lid. And then last but not least, picking up my fluffy brush, no added shadow, just one more blend. Ooh, I'm loving how this is looking. Let me go ahead and add some liner, mascara, do a lippy, fix my hair. I actually just came home from working out. So let me basically get ready for the day and then I'll be back to share my final thoughts on the high temp collection. Ready for the day, I just threw my hair back up in a 
appropriate ponytail, threw on a fun orange tank top to match with this look, some fun earrings. I really wanted to channel all of the colors and vibes in this look. So let me go over my thoughts on the Unearthly Cosmetics High Temp Collection, starting with the bronzer. I love the bronzer. I was going to mention, and I forgot before I finished getting ready, when I turn my lights on, on my lighted mirror, I could definitely see a little bit more shimmer and sparkle in the bronzer. Not glittery, but just a really pretty glow from within kind of look to the bronzer. The color of this is perfect. I do have a medium neutral skin tone, and this actually is nicer than I thought that it was going to be. Like I said, when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, that's very pink. I'm hoping it doesn't translate pink on the skin, and it doesn't. It's just a really beautiful bronzer. I really like this. I'm hoping that she continues to put out bronzers and blushes. I'm actually wearing an Unearthly Cosmetics blush today as well. I really, really like the bronzer. Glad I picked it up. And then as far as the palette goes, the palette is absolutely amazing. I love my look. This is the most beautiful sunset look I've ever created. The mattes are so buttery and pigmented and opaque. I mean, they layer beautifully on each other. There's no skipping. There's no patchiness. They just blend together so beautifully and seamless. And it really looks like I have a sunset sunrise on my eyelids. It is just blended out beautifully. And the shimmers, the shimmers are incredible. Unearthly makes some of my favorite shimmer and matte formula in general. And this palette is one of the best I feel like Unearthly has put out so far this year. Color story wise, performance wise, again, the shimmers I think perform better with a finger, but they do perform with a brush as well. So if you prefer brush application, you're still going to get this beautiful sparkly foiled shimmer. I really love this palette. I cannot wait to play with this bottom row of these pinks and purple. I did use the shimmer glowing on the middle of my lid and I really, really like that. This is the only shimmer I haven't used yet and that will be 100% used with the bottom row. One other thing I wanted to point out that I really, really appreciate is that both the rows have light, mid-tone, and deep matte so that you can create a cohesive look, which I very much appreciate. I always like a deeper matte on my outer corner and Unearthly is delivering. Love this. Can definitely see myself reaching for this palette so much and I love the bronzer. I'm really excited to see what Unearthly does the rest of the year. 10 out of 10 out of 10. Highly recommend the palette and the bronzer obsessed. So I will make sure I link the high temp collection down below for you with the discount code that I use as well again as all of the other makeup that I'm wearing today. If you would like to shop this look, discounts to my favorite indie brands and my favorite beauty subscription boxes. And lastly, follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. This collection on fire.